Hello students, welcome to e-lessons. I am Shrinivas Shenai, your physics teacher. Now as soon as we say thermal properties of matter, it means there is something related to heat. So we will be discussing majorly about the different properties of matter. What do you mean by heat? What is meant by temperature? How exactly temperature or heat transfer happens from one system to other system and, and its associated properties. So all these things will be dealt in this particular chapter. So this particular chapter is one of the most important chapters in, in, in physics in uh, uh, the 11th standard physics. So the first one that you should understand is heat or the first concept or the first thing that you have to understand is heat and the second concept that you have to understand is temperature. So these are the two basic things or basic ideas that one should have in order to understand the thermal properties of matter. Now I can ask you a very simple question. What do you mean by heat? What, what exactly is heat? Heat is nothing but it's a form of energy or I can just write it like this. Heat is a form of energy. In, in simple terms or simple definitions we call heat as a source of energy or a, or a form of energy. The other definition of this, a very basic or simple definition of this is heat is the capacity to do work. This is another definition of heat. So basically you have two definitions of heat or two uh, basic ideas of heat. One is heat is called as a form of energy. The other one is heat is the capacity to do work or you can say energy is the capacity to do work. Now when you say form of energy there are different forms of energy. You have uh, sound energy, you have light energy, you have thermal energy, you have wind energy. All, all different kinds of energies are available. Now in this particular chapter we will be specially dealing about thermal energy or we are dealing about heat energy. Now if you look at the units of energies when, when I say energies, you should first understand what is the SI unit of energy, System International Unit of Energy. So energy basically is given in terms of joules. So the basic unit of energy is nothing but joule. Now there are basically two forms. Now one definition says that it is a form of energy. So heat is a form of energy, I can just consider it as heat or it is also capacity to do work. Energy is a, is a capacity to do work. So I have work here. Now if you look at the unit of heat, the SI unit of heat is joules. SI unit of heat is joules. The unit of work also becomes joules. So now my question is, do you think heat and work are the same? They both have the same SI units and they are measured in terms of joules or energies are measured in terms of joules, but they are just given different names. One is called as heat, the other is called as work. Now the question is simple, are heat and work the same or are they different? If they are same, how they are same and how if they are different, how exactly are they different? Now if you just closely look at this, when, when you say heat, it is something related to temperature or something related to thermal. So I can say heat is different, work is different. They cannot be the same even though the units remain the same. The, the way in which we measure heat and work may remain the same. The units may be same as joules but if you actually see it, heat is completely different, work is completely different. How exactly are they different? That's what we are going to see now. Now when you say work, work is a kind of energy where you are transferring energy from one state to another state but you are defining work with respect to mechanical terms. It's a mechanical way of defining energy. So if I look at work, work is a mechanical way of defining energy. So when I say mechanical way, I, I can give you a very simple example. Now for example, you can, you, you can take an object, I'll, I'll take this chalk piece. I want to push this chalk piece in the forward direction. If I just apply some force here, the chalk piece can be pushed in the forward direction. So this chalk piece is being displaced from this position 
into some other position by an external force. So I am applying a force on this object or on this chalk piece in this case and I am displacing this chalk piece from this position to this position. So there is some amount of displacement happening. I am giving some certain amount of energy on this and that energy is sufficient for this chalk piece in order to move from one position to the next position. So that means some amount of work is being transferred from my hand to this chalk piece so that this chalk piece will move forward. So I am doing some amount of work on this and when I am doing work on this chalk piece, this chalk piece is displacing from this point to the next point forward. So that means there is some displacement happening in this chalk piece. So displacement is a mechanical term and that is how you define work with respect to the movement of the chalk piece. You can, you can uh, give one more example. You have velocity. If, if you are traveling at a certain speed with a certain force, you can apply certain force on a body or you can travel at a certain speed. So forces or velocities or, or displacements are mechanical ways of measuring work. Whereas if you go to heat, it is a non-mechanical way of measuring work. So that is the basic difference. Heat is a non-mechanical way of measuring work. So when you say non-mechanical way, I, I can again give you a very simple example. You, you must have all seen a candle. You just take a candle and light a candle. What happens when you light the candle? It will burn and you will see a flame. So that flame is giving you heat as well as light. It's giving you two things. So the chemical reaction or the chemical energy, whatever is happening in the, in the candle, the, the central wick and the wax is being converted into heat energy and light energy. So that heat energy is dissipated or given to the surroundings. So you're not doing any kind of work on that particular candle. You're just lighting the candle. That is the only work that you're doing on the candle. And once it starts burning, automatically whatever heat is being liberated, it is just given to the surroundings or, or the environment. So there is no practical movement or actual movement of the candle or movement of the heat which, which you can visibly see. So it is considered as a non-mechanical way of transferring heat or, or energy. Uh, one more example is I can, uh, you, or you can take a cup of tea, maybe a cup of tea of, uh, you can say the temperature of the tea is maybe 50 or 60 degrees centigrade. If I just hold it in the surrounding, which is at a much lower temperature or, or a room temperature. So what will happen is this heat from that tea, which is at 60 degrees centigrade will be given to the surroundings. So it will just be giving the heat to the surroundings. That means the heat is dissipated into the surroundings. So no mechanical work is actually happening there. There is no force being applied. There is no displacement happening there. So it's a non-mechanical way of transferring of energy. So that is the basic difference between heat and work. So when you consider work, it is measured in terms of joules. The amount of energy that you spend in order to do the work is measured in terms of joules. And it is a mechanical way of transferring energy. Heat is also measured in terms of joules, but it is a non-mechanical way of transferring energy. I hope you have understood this. Heat and work are, are two si simple or basic concepts that one needs to understand in order to understand this particular chapter. Now, if you actually want to understand heat, there is one term that you have to clearly understand that is temperature. You will have to understand what exactly is temperature. If you want to understand what is heat, now what exactly is meant by temperature? This is, this is a basic definition or a basic term. Everyone knows what temperature is. So if I ask you what exactly is meant by temperature, it is nothing but the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. Now you can again, again take the same example. You have a cup of coffee or cup of tea, which is at a certain temperature, maybe 60 degrees again. So you can say that the temperature of the co coffee is 60 degrees centigrade. Now, why do you say that it is 60 degrees centigrade? You are measuring this with respect to the surrounding temperature and it is higher than the surrounding temperature. And you say that it is at a temperature of 60 degrees centigrade. You, you can take a simple thermometer, you can insert it inside, you can put it inside that tea and you can measure the temperature. If you get the answer as, for example, 60 degrees centigrade, we would say that the temperature of the tea is 60 degrees centigrade. So basically, Temperature means the measure of hotness or coldness of a body. How hot a body is or how cold a body is, is the measure of temperature or that exactly is called as temperature. Now, one definition of temperature is the measure of hotness or coldness of a body. 
there is one more definition of temperature and the actual definition of temperature and that is the average kinetic energy of each molecule now if you take a substance or a body it's made up of various molecules or different molecules or or a large number of molecules what is the average kinetic energy of each of these molecules is is what defines temperature now when you say molecules you you can take any object any solid object or liquid object or gaseous or or a gas you you can take literally anything everything will have molecules in them the molecules are small small uh, particles which are there inside inside any substance so these molecules will be continuously in in motion now due to the bonds between these molecules you have continuous motion between between these molecules so what is the average kinetic energy of each of these individual molecules in in a substance that kinetic energy is what defines temperature